We've developed a, a bit more of a, a waste stream management as well as our solar side of things. So in our recycling, our milk bottles being returned to our, our milk vendors. And then the latest project that we've looked at is a, a decomposter or a dehydrator. That is what's been used on our site. We've had it in place now for about three months. The benefit and why we wanted to put it on this site was that we are using solar here and we can use that power in periods that we're not maximising it in-house for our baking facilities it is actually subsidising the energy use of a dehydrator. This is our dehydrator, uh, we link it to our, our power on our site. Uh, we're using solar, generally we aim to try to start it up during a daytime period so that solar is, uh, any solar that's being exported is utilised through this unit. We use approximately 50 kilograms of waste material will go into this. Uh, we, we dispose or we send a lot of our product through to our charity groups and, and places like that. But once we get to end of use, we don't want to put that into, uh, into uh, landfill. So we've, we've embraced this system where it basically, we place the 50 kilograms in, it cycles, turns it and heats it up uh, to 160 degrees for an eight hour period. Uh, and then after that period, the, uh, the compost material comes out as a granular, uh, not a powder, but a granular type material. So we, we place the material into uh, one of our storage bins uh, this material is of yesterday and uh, it's a quite a granular type product. Uh, as you can see, different products, they're quite golden colour, probably a lot of pastry was placed in there at the time. But there is a, uh, an aroma similar of uh, coffee material uh, throughout this. So this was pies, meat, uh, pastries, cakes and things like that. And we, uh, we end up with a product that uh, is quite uh, uh, odourless but with a, with a pleasant smell and we use it on the gardens um, we do a bit of fertilising on the, on the grass areas um, but we're looking at using it on our, uh, our on our farm back at home.